Hey, Frequent Flower friends. This month I'm designing at home just like you are. So I just found a vase that I have. I've got my spray roses, my Crispedia or Billy Balls, and my Solidago that you got this month in your flower subscription bouquet. I've also got a rubber band and a twisty tie. I'm gonna make a simple hand tied. Say hello to Odin. I'm going to make a simple hand tied bouquet that I'm just going to drop down in my vase and I'm going to use these tools here just to tie my bouquet together with. Now if I was in the flower shop I might use bind wire, I might use floral tape, but just like you I'm at home today so we're going to use things that you probably have laying around your kitchen. So let's start with the spray roses. I'm going to start by cleaning my stems. So I'm going to remove any of the foliage that's there and if you have any stems like this where a bud is missing you can take that off as well. If you have any guards petals or maybe petals that just look like they've been a little bruised, you can always remove those. Now, when cleaning your stems, do be careful. Spray roses are just like a typical standard rose. They can have thorns. These are not overly thorny, but they do have some little guys. I notice them mostly closer to the blooms rather than on the large stem. Kind of these shorter laterals may have them. So just handle with care. Crispedia is good, we don't have to clean those. Solidago, depending on how we use it, I think I'm actually going to remove some of these lower laterals. They would be below the water line when we do them. So I can keep these shorties and put them in another arrangement or a smaller little vase on their own. Solidago looks a lot like goldenrod that we see growing here naturally in the Midwest. It is a relative, but it is not gonna cause the allergy effects that goldenrod does for some people. So Solidago is different in that regard. So I'm actually gonna start my hand tied with my Solidago. We don't always start with our filler. In this case, we are. So when I'm doing a hand tied, I'm starting with my first stem and every stem I add on, I want to go at the same angle so that all my stems will line up nicely. So I'm just gonna start my little bouquet with my goldenrod. Then I'm gonna go in with my spray roses. And I've got a couple different colors. So I'm gonna have my colors work opposite each other. And I can keep kind of spinning my bouquet as I keep adding. I'm gonna go in with my pink spray roses. Pay attention, you may want to flip flop how your stem lays. For example, if I place this this way, if I was doing a bouquet for wedding work or just even for our purposes, I'm kind of seeing the back side of those roses. If I go this way, I'm seeing more of the front side. Don't mind Odin in the background. That is our new shop dog. He is full puppy mode right now and is a little crazy. So you might hear some whining and uh, fussing. He right now wants to go outside and eat every cicada possible and my stems. He'll say hi in a second. Okay, so I have got all my spray roses, Odin, got all my spray roses in there together. And now I'm gonna go right in the center with my Billy Balls. Or Crispedia. No, they shouldn't. Here's Odin, he wanted to say hi. He's a little crazy and overtired, so he's gonna go take a nap. So now I've got my solid egg and my spray roses where I wanted them. I went ahead and gave my stems a little bit of a trim just so they're easy to work with since I'm not in my studio. I'm just kind of here at my dining room table and I know that I'm going to cut them low for this space anyways. I've got my Billy Balls left or my Crispedia and I'm going to pop those right down in the middle just to highlight them. They're little balls of sunshine. They make me smile and they're honestly my favorite part of this bouquet. So I'm gonna go right in the center with them, kind of put them at varying heights. And how cute is that? This would be the most adorable little flower girl bouquet, but it's also gonna look adorable on my kitchen counter at home. So we can give them another nice fresh trim. If you want to, depending on your vase, um, my garden shears need sharpened. Um, if you want to use a twisty tie or a rubber band to hold your flowers together, depending on how wide mouth your vase is, if you've got a wider mouth vase, you might want something to hold a place. Mine here is actually pretty narrow, so if you're working with something similar, you can probably just drop it in and give her a little fluff. And how cute and simple is that? 
This also would be adorable if you had company coming just to be a little arrangement on the nightstand. And these are flowers that you can pick up pretty easily at any flower shop or even a grocery store. I recommend shopping local though. Um, but your spray roses, solid ego, and then your billy balls. How fun, sweet, and simple. And we hope you enjoy this tutorial this month and we'll see you next time.